Hey guys, Jamie here today in Roblox. We're playing some more Pokemon Brick Browns. As you can see on screen right now, for the first battle, we're battling against Aaron Blout. Blout? Interesting name, 61, using a Ninjask. Probably gonna uh, ban past that speed over to the um, Vaskelin, I think it's called. Is it Vaskelin? It's something like that. Stammy, have not seen one of those for a while, actually. Meganium, I haven't really seen one of those for a while either. Hit on top, never seen that before. I think the only time I've seen it was when I used it myself for the int my Intimidate theme team. And it looks like a Mega Salamon, so pretty okay team. Um, let's uh, lead off with this. I feel, I feel like, um, actually, this is a good lead off. He's gonna protect the first turn, right? Um, I think it's still worth setting up spikes. I don't think he has any defoggers, or at least I'm hoping he doesn't, so. I don't know if Vasculin gets rapid spin, but spikes and predict him to just protect first turn. He's actually going to U-turn straight away. That does a ton of damage, even though I am ice and flying, so, um, RIP me. <coughs> at least it didn't turn me down to focus that strange, I guess. Oh, he does have a rapid spinner. Oh, yes. I remember now. <laughs> I forgot. No. <laughs> now what do I do? He's going to go for what? Um, he's gonna go for Ice Beam, if I had to guess. Let's try to Destiny Bond it. Scald, okay, don't KO. No, get rid. Got one layer of spikes down low. Oh, I don't, doesn't, no, Persian doesn't have speed there, but it's close. Um. <coughs> I'm joking. Um, Crobat, go for the U-turn straight into another Pokemon. U-turn, he's gonna go for the Ice Beam to get that U-turn off. Around half, unfortunately it's not half. He's gonna go for the Ice Beam low, so Metagross is gonna come in. Or is it gonna go for the Scald at Burn Chance, because I don't have an Aromatherapy here. And I keep forgetting to get one in. I actually went for Rapid Spin. Uh, that kinda sucks. Kinda wish I'd Brave Bird, but oh well. Go for the... He's gonna scald me. I don't really have anything for water types, to be honest. Did not think about that. Earthquake it. Probably gonna just scald me for the chance to burn me. But suck. Actually, just go for the side shock, please. Just, just go for the side shock. Make sure music is on. It is. Okay then. Come on, please let this one shot it. Scald. Okay, they're gonna go for the burn chance. You've already got one burn, right? No, you haven't burnt me yet. No, you haven't bit me. And I got a critical hit, so Rapid Spinner gone. Although, the only Pokemon I have right now that can... The only Spikes and or Stealth Rocks I have right now are Toxic Spikes. Yeah. Delibird really isn't that great, really. I mean, it's just like a very, very niche Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's like always going to stay in the PU tier. It's that's a garbage. It can run you like, but it hasn't got an evolution. This was like one of the most garbage Pokemon ever. It's even worse than Dunsparce. Let's be honest. If he sent out the Meganium, he most likely has something to counter my Metagross. I'm gonna just meet your my shirt. It misses. Uh, very nice. Leech Seed, a Kaelin. A K. I see what you're going for. I don't think you can defog that. Um. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this one. I should have predicted that Leech Seed. Or at least if I did, I could have actually got an attack increase. And that would have been a very nice. <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> Come on. Give me a, a give me a attacking freeze. Come on, hit me with I move. Oh yeah, yeah. Give me another one. Give me another one. Just hit me with what you got. I'm gonna return and predicting these Salamans. I'm predicting him to predict me to go for a saw dance and try to set up. So if I go for the return, I already know against a mega Salamans I can do around just half with a not neutral attack. Uh, Saw's book or reindeer, the nickname I keep forgetting to nickname it back. Um, Salamons or the ninja and predicting. That's Edon, he can tank me because it is very, very tanky. Although, I do have Jump Kick, which is this is a rock steel type. I could actually horn leech it, but. Mm, what's the point, right? Just Jump Kick it. And it's gone. So that's probably his Stealth Rocker. Earthquaker probably has Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide, if I had to guess. Benny Chance, so that's fine. Him on top isn't an Intimidator. Interesting. I'm gonna go. F I actually have no idea what to do right now in this situation. Predict the um, the fighting type move. I'm going to my Crobat. This team is like so unbalanced. Like, 
I really I don't have any fight time moves on this team. This is like such an imbalanced team. I definitely need to work on a, a better one. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go for the Ray Bird, predicting him to swap out into the. I actually just realized he hasn't actually got Intimidate on this hit on top. Intimidate him on top and Intimidate Salmon's would have been really, really good. I don't know what him on top this is, and I don't remember the ability this thing has. I know it has hidden ability, it's hidden ability isn't the Intimidate, it's a normal one. I know the Incineroar has a hidden ability, Intimidate. Hits him on top. Meganium. Brave Bird's still gonna hit that thing like a boss. Uh, I could actually Brave Bird again, it might live. Which is gonna just be a slight problem. But, uh, Brave Bird again. Kaelin. It has Technician. Oh, the Sin Ability is Steadfast, Razor Speed each time it gets flinched, but it'll only 70 base. Not that great. Oh, we killed it, Nat. Uh, I mean, Himmeltop's okay, I mean, its hit points is only 50, which kind of sucks, which makes its defenses pretty useful, because it has, like, 95 base physical defense, or 90 physical, actually, is it? I think it's got, like, 110 special defense. Hit him on top. Let's have a quick look again. Ninja, so it's gonna go for the Protect, so I'm gonna go for the Roost. Um, yeah, 95 physical defense, 110 special defense, 70 speed, 95 physical attack, and 50 hit points. It's pretty good uh, stats, although the hit points definitely suck. If, like, the attack and hit points were swapped, that would be tanky as heck. If especially the Intimidate, that'd be nice. Um, he's most likely gonna U-turn, I mean, bound pass this over. He's actually gonna go for a Sword Dance, so that means he has a Focus Hash Lord, most likely. So I'm gonna try to try and hit this thing as hard as possible. There we go. Nice. Okay, then he's gonna have to just bomb past this one now. So what I could do is I could uh, just brave bird again. He might go for another protect. Just like try. Actually, do I? I have the chair, don't I? No, I have um. I have the other one, so I don't get flinched. Yeah, in a focus. I don't have the chair. I think that's a hidden build. It'd be nice to have that right now. But brave bird again. He's gonna go for the protect for another speed boost, even though he doesn't need it. Looks like he's gonna try and bomb past this to his. Um, to his Salamance, which is a mega. So, I mean, that attack increase is gonna be disgusting. Persia might be able to just live a 1. That's all I gotta say. So, Brave Bird again. Baton pass into his Salamance. There's no way it goes into his little Pokemon, right? Yeah, Salamance. That was too obvious. I shouldn't even don't have Raw right now, Intimidate. That actually really, really sucks. Still got a good amount of damage though, so I'll take it. He's gonna go for the Mega and probably... He's not gonna Dragon Dance, so... He hasn't got Dragon Dance for this thing, most likely. Unless he does, which is weird. Probably has Dragon Claw, Return, Maybe Fly, Rock Slide, Flamethrower. He has a good amount of options on this. So Fire Fang... I don't know if it even gets Fire Fang yet, but... Then Headbutt's another option. I still have Speed it! That's gotta be a glitch, there's no way else better. Dragon Dance. It's still trying to boost, even though it's already been boosted a ton. Why even bother with the Bomb Pass line? We can just use Salmon to just do that line. Return, it's gonna take me down. Now the problem is low. I don't think my Pokemon can live a hit. So I got Fake Out on my Persian. Fake Out on my Persian. Okay, let's do this. So, Fake Out, it always at speeds. Then I go into my Saw's book, and then I go down, back into my Persian, fake out again. Into another Pokemon, do that again. Actually, I wonder if uh, Megros' Bullet Punch would probably hit harder. Into the Rain DNA, because I'm predicting that. I don't think Persian can tank a hit as much as I want it to. I don't think it will. Return. That's fine. But it's a shame it isn't double edge, to be honest. It's a shame it isn't double edge. But fake out gives me that protection, to be honest. I think that's the smarter play, and it's low enough just to bullet punch it, so take out again, for the little bit of damage, and then just hope that Megus can s finish it off on me. Yeah, this is really not doing a lot of damage. Into the Needle Queen now. So yeah, we didn't need the Tox Spikes at all. Persian, if I can live a hit, that would be amazing. Okay, it's just going to drag him down, so predict me swapping out. That sucks, but that's... Okay, if he doesn't kill this thing though, he is so screwed. I wonder if he has roosts. Well, he's not gonna roost against the Needle Queen, let's be honest. Okay, then, so there's that. Um, he might predict me doing this again. So if I just go for the fake out first turn, 
a little bit of damage and then I'll play it. If it takes me down, that's fine, because I still have Magus with Bullet Punch. And I think it's low enough now, then. Is it gonna predict me? Oh, he's went for the routine. Can I tank it? No, nah, there's no way I'm gonna tank that, to be honest. Okay, Metagross, Salmon's is just way too scary. Bullet Punch, please be enough to take it down. Okay, Salmon's is down with all those stat increases. Like, he had plus 5 speed and probably a Sword Dance plus 2 Dragon. This is like. For, plus 4 attack, there's a hit on top, so Zen headbutt you. Is this enough fake out? Shouldn't do too much, because also I'm still tight. I wonder if he has knockoff, that will do a ton. If I hit this Zen headbutt, I should be fine. Mac punch, I can live that. Oh my gosh, just! Please KO it, don't miss, please. Nice, Come on top is down. Now he just fully punch spam, right, and I win, because I don't think Ninjas has a priority move. So Bullet Punch, don't have Rocky Helmet please. Get okay, Bullet Punch and that is how you win against Mega Salamon. So there we go. There's the first battle. I'll be back in a second for the second battle. Okay, for the next battle we have Wolf Dragon 2783. It wasn't exactly the person I was trying to battle but I'll take it. Looks like Mega Houndoom, Electivire, Mandibuzz, Malotic, Latios and a Rebombi. So uh, Fairy Bug, Dragon, Psychic, Water, Flying, uh, Dark, electric, and dark, and fire. Um, fairy, fairy, fairy. It's weak to fairy. Yeah. I don't have any fairy t options on my team. No Oxley Defogger. Although, no setup on his side. Like, I can see, like, no Stealth Rocks on his side, which is good. So, lead off with this for the U turn. I don't have any actually I do have an electric time if I have my uh, Thunderbolt on my Nido Queen. Latios lead off, that's actually fine for me because I get to a U-turn. Uh, could actually try to Brave Bird, but it's a psychic foot type. I don't want to I don't want to try and tank a side shock or a psychic. I'm swapping out. U-turn, so it's not Mega Latios, that's safe to say. Into the Persian. Uh, alone Persian has Beasley Latios. Latios has 110 base speed. Mm, alone Persian has 115. Ice Beam, that is completely not what I predicted, but I still get to foul play, so I'm fine with that. I was honestly predicting the side shock. I guess actually the Megos would have been a lot better, because honestly, usually the moves that he runs is like side kick or side shock, ice beam, sometimes shadow ball, sometimes though it's pretty rare. Dragon pulse or dragon breath if he even gets doesn't get dragon pulse yet, but Megos tanks all those hits except from Shadow Ball. Which I'm pretty sure would have tanked it a lot better than actually wouldn't probably tank it a lot better than Persian. But Bombay uh, pretty sure I else. Actually, I don't have speed it, but I'm gonna just risk it. Okay, 124 base speed, so he has an EV trend fuller. What's his rank? Um, Metagross, actually, no. Robot's a better lead off. Because a uh, bug, I resist it. Perry, I also resist it, whereas Megros is a neutral for bug. I am battling Wolf Dragon like 60, normal 1700 rank, so that's fine. Brave Bird, predicting him to go into the Electivire or the Myelotic is what he should do. Probably not the um, the Electivire actually. Yeah, yeah, he can kind of tank a Brave Bird, but it's still do over half, most likely. Even though I aren't TV training attack, it might do half. Electivire, so I mean, there's the Electivire. Yeah, actually, that does not do a lot as I thought it would do, so it's actually smart of him to do that. I do not speed him, so you turn. Just get out of there. He's most likely going to go for the Vault Switch, so. Reindeer. Swordbuck has the exact same speed as the Electivite, so I'll go into this. Mm, well, Chad, I can tank that. Kind of. We have the same speed, so then who's going to speed two? Let's just go for the Horn Leech. He has a Light Pop as well, so it looks like it's the exact same set that mine might have. Brick Break. Okay, never mind. So, speed tie, he got the uh, advantage low, or he got the he won the speed tie, unfortunately. That's fine low. Let's go into the um, Crobat. I want to get my toxic spikes down, or some of my spikes for a little bit of damage, but don't know if it's really worth it yet. Brave Bird, just in case it swaps out. I might as well hit it with as hard as I can. Electivire is down, so no worries about the Thunderbolt, even though I probably. Actually, yeah, I definitely need to use the Thunderbolt on the uh, Milotic, so I. He, since I took down this Electivire now, then my Lotic will be a little bit easier to try and take down. If it goes into it's true going to Maltic now. Mandibuzz, that is not why you really predicted. You turn it. Okay, there we go. Into the Persian, so I can taunt it. 
Um, it's not going to toxic stall. It's going to try and go for a... Oh, actually, he's going to try and just toxic a um, crowbat. Interesting. I don't have a room of therapy either, so yeah, rip that. Okay, quickly just taunt it so I can't do that again. Might swap out as well. Probably should swap out to be honest. Taunt is nice. Can't use roost. Why would you even try to roost against a Persian? Are you kidding me? Okay, then. Okay, now he should swap out. Or he, he should, but we'll have to see, right? So, parting shot. I could go back into. I'm trying to think. Foul play. How hard will it hit Santa? How good is his physical defenses? This attack is highly nice, but the good defense that kind of sucks. Neither Queen could. What's this defense is like? Higher, but oh, well, actually, its physical attack is around. It's very, very close to it, so still riskier. Although I do have Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. We'll see. Probably a bad idea. Should we really say this for the um, foul play? Don't do over half. Ah, that is perfect. Toxic Spikes one turn. Even in, yes, even if I don't get two down, it's definitely just worth me getting one down just with a little bit of toxic damage that I can get. Definitely worth on the, um, on the way his taunt wore off. Okay, it did. So now he should go for the Defog, so let's go for the Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. I think uh, Thunderbolt's the best option, just in case it swaps out into Milotic, but he's going to Defog most likely. Half damage. Although he has a, uh, he's actually just gonna roost. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, if I paralyze it, that'll be nice. Or I could freeze it. But also, I don't get loads of chances anymore because of the Shea Force's oh, hidden ability, Needle King, Queen, and King. Have Shea Force, it gets rid of the secondary effect, that 10% chance to paralyze or freeze. And it gives me the chance to, um. Oh, just gives me more damage. I don't exactly remember how much damage, I don't think it's two times, I think it's 1.5 times multiplied. Thunderbolt again, hopefully I get a good damage roll and it's enough to KO it. Close, no paralyze obviously because it doesn't work. He I think heals a little bit more than I uh, damage him so that also sucks. He might not have default because he hasn't gone for it yet. Thunderbolt again, I think Thunderbolt's the same as Ice Beam for damage wise. I can like just critical hit it, that'd be amazing. And I don't have life I have a life orb, but also the sheer force gets rid of the life orb damage to myself as well, which is really really good actually. Which one's harder hitting? Ice beam up on the ball. A 90 90, okay then. Uh, they're both they're all they're all these moves are 90, but her policy is stab. Okay. Thunderbolt again. I mean if I'm just hoping for a critical hit at this point. Okay, foul play me. No roost again. Just peep I mean, he's gonna run out of roost eventually, and that's just like, what's the point, man? Actually, I'm gonna ice beam. I might as well set the Thunderbolts for the, um, you know, the water type. I have ice beams. Yeah, I don't know why I was doing that, but oh well. Ice beam. He has to roost, keep roosting now until he's just on, he's on full health again. Roost again. I mean, he has, he's gonna, this is an endless battle right now. He only has 10 roost low, whereas I have uh, 25 PP in both of these moves, so ice beam again. Let's keep doing it. Ice Beam again, and again, he's gonna roost again? Okay, roost, I don't know why, I mean this is just, there's no, there's no even point of this range, this rate. Okay, one, oh, five, I'll say he's probably got, he's probably used around five of his PPs on roost, probably six maybe. So he should have like, all five left. So there's, what, there's one? Actually if I'll play me this time, I mean thank you for the K on the Mandibles now I guess. I'm actually gonna Thunderbolt. In case he swaps out to the he didn't swap out. Okay then, Mandibles are down. That in ass. Um the Needle Queen does have a Tim in nature, which isn't the best, also the modest is the best of the um, the other one. Poison is gonna get onto that low, he's gonna go for um, a move that I don't appreciate into the crew bit. I wonder if this thing has No, doesn't this thing get a room with therapy? Something like that. Pretty sure this thing gets it right. Dazzling Gleam, I can tank that. Don't know why I tried Dazzling Gleam with Poison Tide, that'd be amazing if I tanked it, but I don't think I would have. But yeah, I mean, uh, the, my hidden ability Needle Queen isn't the best. I got it while I was going for the hidden ability Needle King. I was going to look and got. Oh, well, it's not really in Looker, but I just got more hidden abilities that I didn't really need or want. Like, the Needle Queen, I didn't really want a Timid one. I wanted a Modest one or a Bald one for the tanker version. Yeah, it didn't really go too well. 
Oh no, Wily Barkin. Do I have a package? I'm expecting a package, okay, I'm just gonna quickly try and finish this battle then. Oh no, I, th I think there's a package. Oh no, I'm gonna be back in a minute. Okay, and I am back. Wasn't exactly a package I was expecting though, I got a card um, for my birthday. I'm just gonna quickly open it. I mean, I know it's from, I'm not gonna mention it because it's just family matters um, from just parents, just, I'll just say that. Some people might understand what I'm, where I'm going with that, but I'll just say that. So just open door, took the cans, that right I guess. Roost, the poison will take this fight thing down, so... Yeah. Oh, I ran for that. <laughs> Fire Blast. Oh my god, I actually took me down. I should've just freaking U-turned it. I don't know why I didn't, but um... Yeah, I was hoping that I'd get my uh, pack of cards, but... Or box of cards. I wasn't freaking wanted that box of cards. It's meant to come in... Somewhere before 8pm. It's 2pm right now as I'm recording this, so... I should be able to live. Let's go for the Santa. KO. Malotic. Come at me, am I lotic? I don't need to spike anymore. I guess I could just destiny bond if I really wanted this scummer, but please dry it. Obviously it's super effective against my lotic. Come on, Santa. We got this toxic stall. We got this so if you see a cut, you know why I just I gotta got something on my door. I'll open that after um, I'm done recording. But yeah, I mean if you don't know, also I'm recording this on my birthday. I haven't really done too much today. I just I'm I'm boring because um uh, again, yesterday, yesterday before I'm recording this Thursday, we did have a, um, a funeral, which uh, <laughs> really sucks. But um, yeah, I mean, went to it. Actually, I just realized as well, real quickly, a normal poison is very light, toxic poison is very dark. I didn't realize that until now, which is great. I know that now, but yeah, it sucks. Went to it, then we went to like the after party. Had a few drinks with um, Grand and just some of the family that we haven't like been in touch with for a while. It just really, really sucks. I mean, um, I think it was, if I remember correctly, my aunt's aunt, aunt's, um, which I don't I don't know her that well, but I knew her well enough. Um, yeah, my my granddad just destroyed over that. To be honest, I mean, I think she was only sixty, which. Yeah, <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, off topic of that, because also, I mean, like I say, it's fa family stuff. I don't really like making it public, but yes, if you, you were wondering why I, the videos were like on Thursday, I did have that to um, attend, and some of the videos were very late. I'm gonna destiny bond it. Okay, bye bye, Melotic. Hit me with a freaking scout, okay? Or an ice beam. Recover? Of course you do. Okay, Len. Destiny, freaking bond. Come on, hit me. Hit me with your best shot. This isn't gonna work, is it? I guess I'll just uh, freeze dry it, but yeah, that's what happened Thursday. Friday, I, I guess this. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, I haven't done anything today. I, I drank last night, well, not really last night, but like midway through the day, so had a, had a few uh, few beers. That was a probably terrible de decision because um, I drank way too much. Um, haven't been asleep since then. Like, actually, yeah, that's a lie. I like 12 hours of sleep. On my desk, <laughs> so uh, that was a uh, bit entertaining. So yeah, but yeah, just been hectic this week to be honest. And then I'm working Saturday, Sunday, which um, is why these are pre-recorded. If you are wondering as well, if I'm recording on the days that these videos go out, usually they're pre-recorded on like the, a couple of days ago. But anyway, I will there. That's just like a rand random turn of events. So yeah, usually I don't just go 
away from uh, my recording session, especially when I'm playing a battle or care. That's like the one thing. As soon as I started recording, I was like, this something is gonna ring, freaking knock on the door. I'm probably gonna get my package through a freaking Big Bronze video recording. If it's any other video, I can just pause it mid-game, easy peasy. But Big Bronze, there's a timer. I gotta like run there, run back in like a minute and a half. Which is why, as soon as I clicked the move, I freaking legged it. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it off there, hope you guys enjoyed. This team actually is really, really bad, but I kinda like it. I only have two special attackers, although one would pretty stupid, but it works. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.